Okay. Now, we're going to sing a song. Okay. So let's get our special trees up. This is our special tree. Can you put your arm up like this? And then you sing, I am special. I am special. If you look, you will see someone very special. Someone very special. God made me. God made me. Yeah, he made you very special. And you know, I am so glad because he made everybody different. Yes. Wouldn't it be terrible if everybody looked like me? No. No, I know. That would not be good. No. And that makes me skiddly winky dinky do glad, huh? Skiddly winky dinky dink, skiddly winky do. God loves you. No, no way. Skiddly winky dinky dink. Skiddly winky do. God loves you. No way. He loves you in the morning and in the afternoon. He loves you in the evening and underneath the moon. So? No. <laughs> skiddly winky dinky dink. Skiddly winky do. God loves you. He loves you. He does. Now, this story is about the Good Shepherd. Now, the Good Shepherd, he takes care of his sheep because his sheep are his livelihood. He gets clothes from their wool. He gets milk from the sheep and the goats. And they even have the meat so they can eat, so it, they need everything. Now the good shepherd takes care of his sheep. The 23rd Psalm talks about that, okay? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. The still waters means water that's not rushing real fast, but it's going slow. And the shepherd takes care of his sheep. He makes sure they get fed, they get water to drink. And then at night, what the shepherd does is the shepherd takes them into the sheepfold. Now, here's what a sheepfold looks like. Can you see that? Okay, sheepfold, it's like a corral. You know where they put horses or they'll put other animals? But this one is made out of rocks. And so what the shepherd does is he'll lay across the entrance so that the sheep are protected from anything that might try to get in to harm them. Another thing the shepherd does is you see this thing? This is called a staff. Okay, it's long and it has a curly cue on the end of it. And what he does is as the sheep are coming in, he puts the staff across the opening and he makes the sheep either crawl underneath or jump over it. So he can see if any of them are hurt and then he takes care of their hurt. All right? And so while he's doing that, he counts 99 sheep. He had 99 sheep? He had 99 sheep. <gasps> so he counted to 99? Yeah. But you know what was wrong? He had 100 sheep. And then one lost. So one there's lost. one missing. One got lost. So what does the good shepherd do? Go and find him. He goes and he tries to find him, yeah. I thought he said he had 99, but he said he had 109. He has 100. But when he counted them, there were only 99. And so he knew one got lost. so he knew one was lost. So being the good shepherd that he is, he goes out and he goes looking for the lost sheep. Now, the lost sheep could be yeah, way over there 
but he found the sheep, the sheep that was lost. It was down in the rocks. It had fallen in. So you remember that staff that I told you about that has kind of that curly cue on it? Well, the reason it has that curly cue is so he could reach down and he could grab that sheep and pull him out of that bad spot. Okay? And he also uses that staff to fight off wolves if they came to eat that sheep. So it was very handy. So when that shepherd found that lost sheep, what he did was he went back to the sheep fold and he was so happy. He was so happy to find that lost sheep. Now he has 100. Now he has 100. That's right. And this is a picture of Jesus because he wants everybody to know Jesus. That's he Jesus. doesn't want anybody to be lost. That's Jesus the sheep. Shepherd? No, that's just a resemblance of Jesus the shepherd. It's just a story, remember? It's trying to tell you because he's a good shepherd, that's like Jesus is to us. He's a good shepherd. He wants you to be taken care of. He cares for you. Your mommy and daddy take care of you, and that's what Jesus wants. That's why we have a family. And you know, you don't only have just your family. We have the family of our church, and our church is a family. And so we need to take care of each other. Have your mommies and daddies taken things to other people at this time? Maybe food or picked up something for them? That's what they do. Okay? And that's the story of the Good Shepherd.